Hello everyone, I am Aman and I am a final year undergraduate at IIT BHU. So I have been placed at media.net in the slot one day one as a senior product analyst. So it's been a very good experience at the company, at the company interview process. So I'll walk you through the entire process and the various steps that will be involved. Okay, so the first round was the test round, which consisted of mainly few SQL questions that were uh, around the advanced level SQL, SQL questions. Also, there were some uh, quant questions over there and a basic, you know, aptitude questions. So it was overall a mixed, uh, a mixed bag of, you know, SQL, aptitude, logical reasoning. But one should focus more on the SQL part because I think uh, that is the, you know, game changer in the selection process. Then uh, coming on to the interview process, the first one is a mix of resume plus uh, resume grilling and then projects and basically again an SQL uh, SQL round. So basically it was an on online round, but then uh, you need to, uh, you know, share your screen and solve the questions in, uh, in a minute or so. So again, that becomes a lot of challenging task. Then there was a second round, which was purely product round in which you would be grilled around your product sense, product metric, product improvement, product design, and basic, you know, uh, whether or not you are a fit for the company itself. So there was no HR round involved in this. So basically a test round and two rounds of interviews. Yeah, so in the first round itself, uh, it was taken by an APM at media.net. So he introduced himself and then asked me to introduce myself. And then there was a, a lot of grilling on the internship itself because I did two internships at, uh, at you know, uh, huge companies. So basically he wanted to, uh, he wanted to get a clear picture as to uh, whether I have done the internship or not. And each and every word was grilled upon and it was around 30 minutes of internship discussion itself. Then uh, as far as I remember, there wasn't any discussion on the project because uh, 30 minutes of straight intern, uh, intern experience was there. Then he asked me a guest bit, which was around, I think, uh, the number of, uh, or sorry, the average revenue of, I think, uh, restaurant industry. So again, uh, it, it was being asked that you can't ask any clarifying questions. You have to assume everything and the assumption should be such that uh, it shouldn't be vague. So it, it, a little tinge of difficulty, you know, that was being added from the conventional guesstimate questions that you have. So this was all about the technical round uh, and out of, I think, uh, 18 to 20 students who gave their first round, uh, around five to six students were only allowed to give the second round itself. So there was sorting in the first round itself. So yeah, this was the first round. So in the second round, it was taken by a senior product manager. So uh, she was basically grilling upon the product sense. So there wasn't any introduction. There wasn't any resume grill. She came and just asked me to, you know, design the recommendation model for Swiggy. And out of nowhere, that was being asked because I haven't mentioned anything on my, you know, resume regarding ML or something. But uh, I think uh, she wanted to test like whether a product manager would be uh, able to deal in difficult situation because there would be certain uh, times when you will be asked certain vague questions, ambiguous questions where you need to answer to the stakeholders, right? So there would be a certain, uh, uh, you need to, you know, explain, you have to explain certain something or the other thing to the stakeholders or you should know the, you know, basic uh, system design or the overall archite architecture of, you know, higher level design of ML model. So that was being done by me. I couldn't, you know, uh, tell the overall uh, model, how does it work? But I was able to make the high level diagram out and she was quite satisfied with that because I had that broad sense and, you know, broad mindset over there. So that was being done. And then uh, she asked me to, you know, design a pen for an astronaut. So that was an upfront design question, though it is not a conventional question, but then I had practiced a lot of broad design, broad improvement questions. So it helped really helped me to, you know, uh, tackle that situation. So it went around uh, 30 to 40 minutes uh, discussion on that question itself. Then I think uh, there were two RCAs and then a product question, product improvement question, and then a product metric question again. So the whole round was around one hour, 40 minutes, second round. And I just forgot to mention the first round was around again, one and a half hours. So I think this was the interview experience and also uh, if you feel that you've been grilled a lot and your interview is going uh, 
uh, around one and a half hours plus. So it is a very positive sign, to be honest. Because I also I was thinking the same like everyone is you know giving 30 minute of interview and likewise, but it's a very positive sign because they just wanted to see your you know thinking process in the broad, basically in the broad companies. Yeah, so a structured thinking process is the you know part and parcel of a broad manager. So if you have a structured thinking approach, if you you know are able to break down the problem into smaller chunks, then you are you know you are the perfect candidate for a product management thing. So I've been doing a lot of product management stuff since you know a year or two. So I've been participating in a lot of international hackathons, case studies, uh, you know across various organizations. Yeah, to name a few uh, like TDR Dubai, Voice Vodafone India. Uh, recruit in Japan, so one across a lot of international competitions, etc. So I had a you know product mindset over there, structured thinking approach, strategic decision making, communication, etc. So that basically helped me you know to grill around uh, each and every question that is being asked. I wasn't even you know afraid of what I, I wasn't even afraid of what would be the next question. So this these were the things I think that might have been lack, lacking in some of the other candidates. But then uh, if you are seriously show your interest into the interview process into the into the questions into the company then i think that would be a positive sign uh, to the company and the you know interviewer itself he, he is my, genuinely interested in the company genuinely you know if he is even unable to answer that question he is you know uh, working very hard or you know deep diving in or asking for certain hints uh, in order to you know uh, have that uh, uh, mindset of you know solving that question itself so these were the things i would recommend and also uh, if you are you know preparing for product thing so don't you know just jump onto the conclusions or the solutions up front try to break down the problem first what's the problem what business or product outcome that solving that problem would make both on the users and on the business so there would be certain situations in which uh, you will feel demotivated your friends around would get placed and there would be certain situations in which your luck would help you a lot so there there would be certain things like there would be certain friends you know who haven't even started but they would you know get sorted uh, so you you shouldn't lose lose hope because there is something for you i had just a uh, four shortlist i didn't even think about it because i knew ki i had to go for day one slot one then that's the end i don't want to go for you know deloitte i don't want to go for nation because I had to go for product, so I would have to, you know, crack that up. So you have to make your mind in which direction you want to go, what actually, you know, excites you. So uh, th this is basically one thing. Uh, there would be a lot of chaos and happenings would be all around. And, uh, you know, you have to, you know, deal with that, deal, deal with the ambiguity. You have to, you know, keep your uh, nerves strong. You know, you can also meditate for some time, you know, keep your horses at place then you know you, you just need to you know give your best at whatever level you want to because there would be uh, students who would get 20 plus shortlist but you know uh, uh, zero hires because they lack the interview uh, that interview interpersonal skills or communication also i would recommend to give a lot of mock interviews at least five mock interviews uh, with your seniors with the mass team and the entire you know mock platform which they have beautifully designed so you can go around that you know book your mocks with the industry level experts who are there listed on the platform and you can you know book your mocks you know they give really very good experience to you regarding how where and how you are lacking and you know how can you improve your interpersonal skills how can you improve your estimates case studies etc and for those who are you know setting for analyst roles please you know go with the tech uh, revision courses that are being there they are really very helpful yeah so i was basically a product guy since the you know third year of my college so i basically uh, was in the startup domain uh, so i basically was the kind of person who was more into entrepreneurship you know product design uh, i did cp in my first year at college but i couldn't you know uh, climb above uh, i think two stars in the code, uh, code forces or code chef, I even don't remember the platform now. So uh, I used to do division three problems, but I couldn't solve uh, more than three or two, three or four problems. Uh, sorry, I think two or three problems. So I came to know that after six or six months or seven that uh, this is not the thing made for me. So I delved deep into the startup domain, etc. I, you know, 
started my own startup along with a person uh, raised around 10 to 20 lakhs but then i thought that this is a niche which we are focusing upon then uh, we delved into product design then i you know when i looked into the user's journey user research you know talking to the various users understanding their needs goals pain points i came to know that there is product there is something known as product management which is a junction of you know design analytics tech product everything so i did an internship with a company learned about the nuances of product and you know understood the whole product domain so i i understood that i want to go for it and then the things were clear for me either i'll go for product or you know uh, apply for off campus but then there there would be an atmosphere in your college itself when you will be forced to you know you will feel that uh, level of you know uh, unconsciousness or you will feel that level of you know uh, you will feel that you have to have something some backup plan ready so it was in july or august if i remember clearly so i joined mass for you know as to keep a backup for an analyst role so i basically joined mass before two or three months before the placements and you know it's it was a full package of you know whatever it requires to be a you know good data analyst so uh, it, the course is really very good it really helps you to you know build your entire analyst journey and also they have a curated product program as well that has been integrated into that so if you are going for uh, data analyst roles data scientist roles product product analyst product management roles so they have all integrated everything in that course itself so you can you know definitely buy that also uh, also if you are if you are someone who haven't done anything no internships no projects nothing just feel a little just feel a little you know motivated just join mass and you know you can do wonders because uh, you will get each and every guidance from your mentors you will get your projects done they'll help you in each and every project getting you an internship and you know uh, finally getting you placed so the mentors are very friendly you know you can even contact them 24 cross 7 for any of your doubts whether it be related to studies whether it be related to you know getting motivated and across each and every domain which I can you know list it here so I'll definitely recommend this to everyone yeah so basically I think a tech revision course uh, that is being launched it's very helpful for the you know last themes of placements that are being there because a lot of interviews uh, in most of the analyst companies although haven't given most of the interviews but I have uh, uh, seen the various videos of Mars itself or the various interview experiences of the person. So in that, I have seen that a lot of companies ask a lot of tech questions around stats, around you know uh, this ML thing, basic Python syntax, etc. So uh, 50 top 50 questions of each and every uh, domain like Python, SQL, stats, etc. are being curated in that course. So I really like the tech tech part, the tech revision course because uh, for someone who has you know not very well uh, delved into the uh, this tech thing it's very important for him then uh, i definitely like the non tech course which comprised of the guest emails etc particularly also because i was a kind of a non tech guy so basically that consisted a lot of you know i think around 50 plus guest emails uh, a lot of case studies etc you know a curated content in one package itself and also there are a lot of sessions that are being held regularly which you know definitely you help you to you know crack the product sense you know so i would definitely recommend to you know join this course and you know attend all those sessions which were which are being held uh, in, in between your you know tests etc